Hey, hello, beautifuls. Hi. Today, um, I am teaching on becoming worthy of wealth. Um, this is a very, very, very important topic. And teaching on the topic of wealth and worthiness, um, it's really fundamental. Um, worthiness, our self-worth, and our ability to make, bring in, attract, keep money, go hand in hand. Um, and we can't have true wealth, true prosperity without having self-worth and feeling and being internally worthy of, 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 of that which, which we want, right? That prosperity or that wealth. And this may be something that you've heard before or that you've read about, and it may be something that you know in your brain and you can talk about it. But I'm speaking today about actually living this and doing it and being um, worthy and, and how we can become more and more worthy by developing our, our self-awareness and our self-worth. Um, because you are a heart-centered entrepreneur, you love helping people, helping animals, helping the planet, um, you have your own business or you want your own business, you already feel worthy of stepping out into that and wanting more, right? You may have come from corporate, you may have come from another type of, of job, but you stepped into doing something that you love because you were ready for more. You wanted something more. Maybe it was more time. Maybe it was more freedom. Maybe it was more alignment in your life. And maybe it was more money. And that is absolutely all of those things and more is possible in having your own, your own business. And, but being afraid that it isn't going to come doesn't help your worthiness. Okay. Being afraid that the time isn't going to lighten up or you're going to be able to work less and actually make more money. Being worried and concerned that that isn't going to happen for you doesn't lend to it actually coming your way. Okay, we get into conflict around these things when we start to worry and we feel fearful and we think out of alignment, right? So I want you to just think for a moment that when you take a look around your life and, and your life is probably really good, your life is probably really, really good in many aspects. There may be some aspects of your life or, or pieces of your pie, right, your life pie that could be better. Maybe it's relationships, maybe it's finances, maybe it's it's um, time freedom, maybe it's spirituality, maybe it's um, personal growth, maybe it's leisure time, whatever it is. It could be wellness, could be health, right? It, it, there may be places in your life where you would like more, you would like to have more prosperity in those areas, right? Wealth and prosperity, we can use those interchangeably, right? And on the path of entrepreneurship, it is such a cool and wonderful thing because we have it built right in our journey that we continually have to be working on ourselves, our self-worth, valuing ourselves, our self-awareness, and understanding ourselves, right? It is continual. And just you being you and the way that you're wired, that is something that, that you, are, you are bound to do. And that's really, really exciting right? And on this path, we get to learn how to think differently. We get to learn how to feel differently and behave differently so that we can create what it is that we want in our lives differently than what it is now, right? That's how growth happens, right? Just that's how growth and in, in the laws of nature, how it happens. A being wants or is programmed to be different over time than they are in the beginning, right? Uh, uh, an oak tree comes out of the acorn. That oak tree has a vision. <laughs> uh, it's calculated in its DNA to be different over time and to look very different than when it starts out. And we are the same way. And the path of entrepreneurship, the path of having your own healing business, your own um, spiritual based business um, is like the fast track for that. And, and it can, it can allow you to have all of your dreams come true. And it starts with the self. It starts with understanding ourselves, right? And one of the things that 
well, there are many steps here and I'm going to talk about those in a minute, but being here on the planet and doing that thing that you love to do for people and animals and, and all, you're here to learn how to create the life that you love. And that means expanding yourself, elevating yourself, becoming more self-aware and growing your self-worth. And to elevate and expand yourself, you have to get very curious about yourself, right? And as you become curious about yourself, you exponentially grow in your self-worth, right? It's all about awareness. Self-awareness equals self-worth, okay? And there are a bunch of people running around on the planet who don't really know themselves at all. And it doesn't mean that they don't have money. It means that their self-worth and self-awareness, they have, they have not grown in that area the way that we have the potential to grow as women, heart-centered women entrepreneurs, right? And you might recognize it when you're out of alignment with, with expanding your self-worth, or you might recognize it in other people, and you recognize it as um, doing a lot of complaining or being unhappy, right? Um, and when you're on a path towards your dreams and living a prosperous life, you have to develop self-awareness so that you can get back into alignment. You have to notice when you're out so that you can get back into alignment, right? And there's this understanding out there or this belief out there among people that um, attracting abundance comes from all the outside things coming to us. But that's not true. It doesn't happen from the outside in, right? It happens from the inside out. Reality, being in abundance, being in the flow, having wealth, having prosperity, living a life that you love, it comes from within, right? So if you don't know yourself, there's no way to have permanent or sustainable abundance flowing in your life. It's, it's that simple, right? And you can have a completely changed life, a completely different experience in this life. Like everything can be different when you start doing some personal inquiry and self-awareness. And, and that is what brings about abundance and money and health and wonderful relationships and amazing experiences, right? Our outer circumstances are just a reflection of our inner circumstances. So ask yourself some real simple questions to start to cultivate more of this self-awareness, more of this self-worth. And ask yourself, what makes me happy? Right? And for each thing that comes up for you, ask yourself why. Right? So what makes me happy? My kids, helping clients, um, being, being at the barn with the horses, relaxing by the pool, making money. These things make me happy. But why do they make me happy? And when I go in and I look at those reasons why, that's when I become self-aware. That's when I become aware of why I'm doing these things, why I, I want to live on purpose, why I have a business of my own, why I, I receive money for helping people and animals in the world, right? Get very curious about yourself, right? And, and our reactions, our why in our lives our reactions and our why we react certain ways to things in our lives, why things make us happy or why things make us unhappy, that is the most valuable information that you will ever find. That is the most valuable information that you will ever find is why we react the way that we do in our lives. Why we feel happy, what is that about? Why we feel joyful, what is that about? Why we feel afraid, what is that about? Why we feel triggered or irked or frustrated, what is that about? So think about what makes you happy and write those things down and then be prepared to ask why. Why does it make you happy? What about that brings you joy, right? And then I'm going to ask you to do the same with what really pisses you off, right? Ask why. Why? And list out five things, right? And ask why. Why does this upset me? Why does this irk me? What is it about this? There is magic and understanding, and understanding why things trigger you. There is absolute magic. And this is a concept that I teach in animal communication. And I've got cat hair blowing around in here. <laughs> huh. um, this is a concept I teach in animal communication as students are deepening their abilities and working toward becoming certified professional animal communicators. Is, is a process of, of learning to go into deeper understanding of yourself 
And that is the only way, the only way to truly understand another being is to truly understand more and more and more about yourself. And there is such um, love in that. There is such value in that. There is such a deep presence and groundedness and stability in that. And the more that you develop that, you're developing your self-esteem, you're developing your self-awareness, you're developing your self-worth. And it's palpable. It's palpable. You People want to be in your presence, right? It's palpable. People, animals, other beings trust being with you because you feel good, because you're aware of yourself, right? So when you get upset or you get triggered, your energy is all off, right? Just ask yourself why. This is the journey to self-worth, which is the journey to wealth, right? Developing your self-worth is how you develop wealth. Cultivating your self-worth is how you cultivate wealth. It all ties in together. It comes from self-understanding. And, you know, we have a choice along the way. The, the more we become aware of the things that trigger us, um, we start to realize we were taught to respond that way. We were taught to be annoyed. We were taught to be pissed off. We were taught to make a judgment or an assessment that this is bad and this is good, right? Right? And so often we just like let ourselves kind of run through that, that roller coaster of, of emotion and reactions to situations without really exploring how we feel about it, right? We're just kind of bouncing around out there, right? And, and blaming other situations or the, those situations or those people or those circumstances for, for upsetting us, right? Blame is rampant. It's rampant in our world. Look at what's happening. You know, unbelievable things. It really never is that other person or that other situation or this thing that happened to you. It's always, always inside of us. It's always a reflection, right? And, you know, we choose our situations. I know I don't mean to say that lightly or, or be flippant about that, especially in a time when there are so many people who did not ever choose to experience the things that they are experiencing. And influencing that situation, situations like that starts with us becoming more self-aware, right? Becoming fully aware more and more every single day, more deeply aware of how we respond to situations, right? And we all know people who are negative, you're aware of them, right? They are not aware of themselves. When you are in the space of someone who is, is um, uh, what am I trying to say, um, negative, right? That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel like something you want to attract. It doesn't feel like awareness. It doesn't feel like wealth, right? Awareness and wealth, you can substitute those, those words for each other, right? And that person or that situation, that circumstance, they don't want to be that way, but they don't know any other way to be, right? It's awareness. I was having a conversation with a woman. Um, I was at a, a retreat this weekend, and I was having a conversation with a woman. Um, and I, I was saying, um, she was talking about doing some coaching work um, with families. And that, you know, parents don't always recognize or realize how they are um, influencing their kids when they are parenting because they just do what they've been taught. And it's awareness, right? You either are aware or become more aware or you are not aware, right? It's the same thing with animals. Think about, think about the animals that we work with um, or live with, right? And dogs who bark their full heads off sometimes, right? And it drives you bonkers, right? Animal communication and working with an animal, an animal on their awareness and their behavior, it's all about their awareness. Once they become aware that they don't have to do that anymore in order to get your attention or in order to protect the house or whatever, they can make a different choice. They can do something different. It's all about awareness. Everything changes with awareness. Our self-worth changes with awareness and our wealth changes through awareness, becoming more aware. So when you start to feel triggered, irked, right? Simply ask, why, why do I complain? Why do I feel like complaining right now? 
right? And if you're going to talk poorly about someone, just simply don't do it, right? Or simply ask yourself, why am I bothered by this? Why am I really bothered by this person? And get very curious about it and let it go. Become curious about you, not why they are doing the thing that they're doing, not why they are saying the thing that they are saying. Be curious about you. It increases your self-knowledge, it increases your self-worth, it raises your vibration, it allows you to expand, and all of that is what allows you to attract more of what you want in your life. More joy, more happiness, more love, more money, more wealth, okay? More prosperity. Um, <clears throat> so, I have some questions for you. What do you know without a doubt about yourself? What do you know without a doubt that you are here to experience? Right? Think about what that is. Think about without a doubt, you are here to experience what? I know for me, I am here to experience self-awareness. I love, 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 love practicing um, self-inquiry and practicing self-awareness. Um, I'm not saying I'm excellent at it. I'm not saying I've arrived. <laughs> I'm saying that I am very, very curious about myself. Um, I love personal growth. Um, you know, I love being on a path of, of learning about me, about life, right? And we do that by getting very curious about what we love and why we respond to certain things the way that we do, positively or negatively, comfortably or uncomfortably, Right? And by staying focused on what you know without a doubt about yourself and what you are meant for, that allows you to overcome fear, overcome anxiety, overcome depression. It cures it, right? It, it, it can cure illness. It can cure sadness, all of those low vibration things. So become very, 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 very aware of yourself. As you do become more aware of yourself, you become more um, worthy. You feel more worthy right? You become more self-aware and then you attract more abundance, more goodness, more love, more wealth, right? Worthy can really be a substitute for awareness. Um, I, I think that, that that's an idea worth pondering, right? We can only be aware of something if we're at the same vibrational level of it. We can only understand something if we're at the same vibrational level. We can only attract something if we're at the same vibrational level. That means we can only be worthy of something if we are at the same vibrational level, right? So get curious about yourself. Get curious about what you want and why. Get curious about what makes you happy and why. Get curious about what makes you fearful or what makes you frustrated and why. And you will immediately become more self-aware. Get curious about you, right? You don't wanna, and, and that's the place that you want to take action from is that place of curiosity, that place of awareness, that place of abundance, a place of worthiness. And when you cultivate those thoughts, you cultivate those feelings, you're cultivating that state of being, and that's where you want to take action from. That is the energy and the vibration that you want to take action from in your business, in your life, in your relationships, all of it. Okay? So this is magic. This is magic for your life. This is magic for your business and um, in your relationship with everything and anything you may want. So that's what I have for you today. Get curious about you, and you will attract all that you want and more. It'll, it'll be yours. It'll be yours. So all my love to you. Bye-bye.